Welcome to Quick Finance, Jacob. Today, we have a video covering our 2021 predictions. But first, last year on April 28th, I made a few predictions. Let's see how I did. Going through these, you can see that in terms of GDP growth, I was close. Unemployment, eh. National deficit, right on the target. Inflation got pretty close. The price of oil, eh, not that good. The Dow, though, oh, that was a fail. I thought it was going to go down even more, which means better buying opportunities for us investors. However, it went right back up. There was a good buying opportunity in April, May, March, but the stock market went back up. CO2 emissions, pretty close monetary base increase eh, wasn't that good but one thing to note is that if it weren't for this massive deficit spending this would have been five to ten percent the gdp growth would have been and unemployment would have been a lot higher how did i do give myself a score of c so about average uh, did well with the deficit, economic growth, inflation, and CO2 emissions, uh, but did bad with the Dow index especially, oil prices and the monetary base size. Unemployment was eh. So what predictions do I have for 2021? Well, in December, I made a prediction of Bitcoin hitting 35,000. Well, within two weeks, it hit that 35,000. But I have predicted, and I'm not a financial advisor, but this is an enthusiast, as somebody who has personally invested in Bitcoin. I definitely see it hitting 100,000 by the end of the year. If it goes up rapidly in the next month or so, right now it's around 35, 36, 37 range. If it goes up to 60, 70 K next month or two, I would see that as too much too fast. So there will be retracement there. But either way, end of the year with massive institutional investing and just looking at past experience, past charts and trends, I definitely think 100,000 will most likely be hit by the end of the year. I see a Dow of 32 to 38,000. Right now it's around 30,000, but I definitely see it going up more. I see GDP growth of two to four percent, inflation of two to three and a half percent. CO2 emissions will go back up because there'll be more activity. The monetary base will increase a little bit in size from where it's at right now, 5.2 trillion, but I don't see it going much higher than that. I definitely see the unemployment rate will continue to fall. The official will be 5 to 7%. However, if we count people who are technically according to the government who are neither unemployed or employed but looking for work, they're not technically counted as unemployed, which is a bit of a, some people might say that's a little, that's called statistical manipulation. I would say if you count those people, the real rate would be 7 to 9%. The national deficit will probably go down a little bit. But I could, especially with this recent $1.9 trillion package that's being talked about by Biden, I see it staying up above the trillion dollar range easily, most likely between two and a half and three and a half trillion dollars. Price of oil is going to say where it's at right now. The thing is, there's enough demand, there's going to be enough demand going forward, but there's also enough potential supply going forward as well, especially with oil shale wells, Saudi Arabia, Russia. The potential to meet any demand is there. I definitely see the crypto market capitalization will reach two and a half trillion dollars, if not higher. I could honestly see it hitting four or five trillion dollars, but we'll see what happens. For the credits, they'll be in the description below as well. Thank you for watching this. Like, subscribe, and share. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, so you should always do your research before making any investment decisions. Thank you. We'll see you next time.